All right, welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about a cloud storage solution called Box.com. And this is a web-based uh, cloud storage that you can also put on your iPad and access your files. And what I like about this one is that we can get a 50 gigabyte uh, account for free. So this is the home page here and I'm going to give a 50 gigabyte account now. Okay, so you can give these to your uh, other members of your department or whoever you wish. Okay, so I'm going to check my mail here. Okay, so make sure if you want to sign up for Box that you email me first so that you can get the 50 gigabyte account for free. Okay, so we'll just click on Activate. We'll type in first name, last name, type in your password. Okay, don't use your school password. You can maybe use your old school password. And then I just put in my work number. Company, my title. And notice here that the phone number it doesn't want any special characters, so we'll just take those out. And here we go. So this would be uh, where you come to upload files and access files and organize all your files as well. Okay, and here on the right it shows how to get started. So the first thing we need to do is create a folder. It says to create a new folder just click the new button above, select new folder and enter a name. Okay, so that's going to be right up here and then new folder, enter a folder name and you can also invite people okay so people you invite will receive an email invitation to sign up for their box account and once they have access to your folder they will be able to download, edit, and upload files according to the access type that you select okay so you can select people uh, to be an editor, meaning they can upload, download, preview, share, edit, and delete files, or just a viewer in which they can download, preview, and share files. And I really like this because when I share this with my students, I can just set them as viewers, meaning they can have all the access to the files, but they can't change any of them. Okay, for now, I just want to keep this private. Okay, so here's your folder. So step one is done. Step two says upload and share files. So it says just click the upload button above to select the files from your desktop. Then click share on a file to create a private link that can be shared with anyone to send it. So here we want to click on upload. And it brings down this menu where you can choose whatever file you want to upload. So I just want to upload this PDF file here. And you can tell it where to upload, which specific folder. We'll just make it to all files. And you can add more files. Now this, difference, this differs from box.net in the fact that when you upload it, it's actually creating a new file online. So this does not sync with your desktop. That would cost uh, $15 a month if you wanted it to do that. Okay, now you can see all the things that we can do with this file. Okay, you can share it and then it gets a link that you can either send. And you can also change the access. So anyone with the link can access this. You can also make it for collaborators only or disable it so there is no shared access. Okay, you can also add comments to a file. Okay, you can preview a file, download the file, or even upload a new version if the document has changed. Okay, under share, you can get your link like you've just done, 
you can send the link, you can embed the file in your site, so you could actually embed a file in MyOLU and disable the link. Now, if you don't like where this is, this works like a drag and drop system. So if we want to move this into TechnoLunch, you would just drag okay, and then drop. And now we can see that the file is in TechnoLunch. Now right up here, you can see the folder structure if you ever need to go back. Okay, back to your beginning. Now you can also invite collaborators. Okay, so click on any folder and enter email addresses in the Add Collaborators field and they're going to be able to access, comment on, share, and update all the files in that folder. Okay, so we're going to share and then invite collaborators. So I'm going to add myself to this. Okay. And then under Advanced Options, Okay. You can select an email that you'd like to send along with this, and then you can change someone from an editor or a viewer. So what I do is if I want to share a folder with students, I type all their email addresses or paste them right here, and then I just set them to viewer privileges so that they can just see it. Okay, so then I would have an email uh, waiting for me, and then once I accept it, then I could view all of these files. Now you can also leave a comment. Okay, and this is can ignite interaction, engage with other collaborators. Just click on the comment icon next to any file and get the conversation started. Okay, so we'll look at a file here, and you can see the comment. Okay, so all of my other collaborators would also be able to see this comment and they would be able to add comments on the file as well. So, for instance, your students could ask you questions. Okay, and then other students who would log in, if they had the answer, they could also leave the comment as well. You can also edit your profile here. So click on the tab called My Account and add your name, a picture, and any content info so people you share with uh, would want to know. Okay, I'm not going to bother with this right now. Okay, so it just kind of gives you some information that you can edit, you can change your picture. can also add any contacts that you want and it talks about what you've done recently okay so I just added my website there and if you want to go back to your files you just click on files right here Over here, you can see we have a personal account, the storage, 1.8 megabytes out of 50 gigabytes, so we have a long way to go there. You can see recently updated, and there's also resources for you here. Okay, now it also turns out that you can drag and drop files from your desktop to upload them. So just find a file that you'd like, you can drag it and drop it. It will upload. and then you can see the new file is right there. 